Hello my loves, do you notice something cute? Look at the cover of my book, After the First Kiss. Look at the painting on the wall behind me. I had that painting commissioned, especially for my studio, and then I took the cover art and I put it on my second book. Now, I wrote this book as a follow-up to No More Assholes. As most of you know, No More Assholes, I walk you through my no kissing for three months rule, which is the way that I help you get into the right relationship and absolutely stop wasting time with the wrong people and, and, and not end up two years down the road going, oh, I wish I hadn't gotten into that relationship. So literally, this book takes place after that first kiss you know, whether you do my three months no kissing rule or not, this is the guide on how to set the foundation in the first year and making sure that you are really creating a rock solid relationship because there's there's certain little landmarks that you get through. You know, there's there's the first dating process that gets you to the first kiss and then there's after the first kiss and, and really figuring out can we make this work? So whether you've had a first kiss after three months or not, can we make this work? This is the book that helps you figure that out. Now I have a rule in here, just like I had a rule in No More Assholes, and the rule here is no more melding. Hello, Anik. No melding for one full year, which means no getting apartment together, no buying a house together, no getting a pet together, no getting a joint anything, bank card, credit card, you name it, don't do it. Take your time, ladies, set the pace, empower yourself to set the pace. Don't let anybody rush you into anything. And what you're gonna do during this first year is you are, again, going to observe. Just like in No More Assholes, you observe behavior to see if what he showed you in the beginning is something that he can carry through for, you know, three months. Because if he can't, if, if what he showed you in the beginning was just gone within a few weeks this wasn't really what he was he was just doing what I call best behavior syndrome so when you get into that relationship which is what happens when you have a kiss ladies you know don't don't have a kiss with somebody that you don't know hasn't committed to you don't be one of those people that's like I'm seeing somebody but I don't know if we're together yet if you reserve that kiss for somebody who's committed then you know without a doubt you are now in a relationship and it is time to figure out the relationship. So how, <clears throat> you know, once, once you get in there, how do you deal with his life? How do you let him deal with yours? How do you not fight over things that couples usually fight about, which is money or, you know, exes that are parents of children that they have? Uh, the time that they spend with their friends, their hobbies, how much they need or want to work. How do you get through these obstacles, jealousy, insecurity? You know, the first year is really about seeing, can we ride the waves together? Because most relationships are going to have ups and downs. And the question you want to answer is, can we handle them? Really, do we have the tools together or can we create the tools together? And I help you do that in here too that are gonna help us get through the tough times. So ladies, when you find a relationship, you need to read this book so that you're setting that rock solid foundation and paving the way for something that is going to be beautiful and lasting. I'll talk to you soon.